Genji. Known as one of the worst DPS picks currently to be played in Season 4 competitive. And today, I decided to spend 10 hours to learn his mechanics and if it's possible to rank up at a Master 4 level. Good luck playing Genji this season. I think it's just too much effort for what he can do. It's just too situational and too easily countered. Genji is kind of bad. He's kind of bad. Genji, I mean, I, <laughs> I think Genji's just gonna be horrible. This is gonna be so much fun. I need to practice. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, then. Test me. Okay. Oof. And here we go. Hello world. This is me. That should be. Fun for everyone. Life is easy. Just beat. Don't worry. It can only get better from here, right? You wear a smile. Just be yourself. Don't ever change your style. You are you. No! I didn't have deflector! It's worse, it's... it's much worse. So, after playing Genji in competitive, I somehow managed to lose three games within 25 minutes. The pain! Average games last around 15 to 30 minutes, so it was clear to say that I needed more practice. So I jumped in a quick play for an hour to get a better feel with Genji. Within that hour, I won five games out of six, and I definitely saw some progress. I got some decent kills. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. Learned that I can cancel my deflect. Oh, okay. So I can cancel my deflect. You idiot! Knowing that I put that into practice. Deflected dynamite. Oh! That was sick! And I even ended up getting a 4k, which sadly wasn't play of the game. Yes! But a new quick play was more forgiving than a competitive match. So I rewatched my footage to learn from my mistakes, which were poor position. How the f did he not die? Using my abilities at the incorrect time. Baby, how's your day? Oh, that forgetting to use my abilities. <laughs> I am confused. No, I can dash them. Thinking that I am unstoppable with Dragon Blade. And just dying and losing to my 1v1s. No. Way too much. Oh, oh we're dead. Deflect? No. But despite all that, I had a job to do. So I went back in. Don't you do it! But remember. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Within the next several games, my friend joined me to support me on my challenge. No, you want to do rank my heels? Um, I'll try my best. My oh, this is going to be bad. Bo, are you hyping too? Bo? Oh, no, what's happening, Sam? <laughs> Sam? <laughs> yeah, what's up? I can't do anything. Yeah. Dude, my movement's insane. And the first game back from quick play. GG. Let's go. We won. We won. At this point, I already achieved my first goal. I am so pumped up. But then I soon realized the power of. When done. I had no idea what to do against a Farah. <laughs> I had my first encounter with toxicity, and I ended up losing every Genji battle. Oh, he's so much better. To top it off, my friend ended up leaving me. Bye-bye. And I was all alone. 
However, this did not break my spirit. But if I play a lot, I get better at it, right? Yeah, it's good. Sure. I'm gonna be Genji. Not a Winston. What's with the Winstons, man? Despite having a Winston and a better Genji than me, no way. He actually ended up still beating me. We ended up winning. Let's go. What? Finishing up our two, I had some crazy moments. We ended up bringing a game back from a terrible first push. I got several deflect kills. Ha! Oh, no way! And I got my first play of the game. Um, excuse me, what's the actual f I'll take it. We're rough. I feel like everyone's gonna be avoiding me as teammate. I got one decent dragon blade. But most of the time, I kept dying. What the frick? I had a hard time against Echoes and Pharahs. Mm. That felt good. And most of the time, I looked like a lost puppy. Can I just turn into a bronze for a moment? Like, what am I doing there? I think this is all I'm use <laughs> useful for. Following directions. Huh? But then I came up with a brilliant idea. Idea, man. To change my skin. He's lost his mind. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I was told multiple times to switch off Genji. And trust me, I wanted to. I really did. Where the frick am I? I'm so lost. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just, I'm mentally exhausted. I still have much to learn. Really? Yes, I do. But then, a ray of hope, Divine 29. This is your chance to show me what you made of, all right? How many did we win? After some more brutal losses, my friend ended up leaving me again. You're going down a path I can't follow. And for the remaining of our six, I decided... Engage coffee break. I searched on YouTube to find some guides, and I came across a YouTuber known as Hiku. He made Genji look so easy, and most of all, fun. With the coffee buzzing through my veins and the motivation from YouTube, Genji's cool, man. Just play him. I hopped back in. My first game back, unfortunately, the enemy tank left. Only oh no! She died. <laughs> However, and winning's winning. Because I needed all the help I could get. In the next several games, I discovered that Genji's deflect is the most satisfying thing. Yes! <laughs> oh. I'm not a smart man. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you messing with me? Yes. Hello, your computer has virus. Note to self, don't target tanks as Genji. What? How did I not kill him? Are you kidding? I just want to cry. Two wins and eight losses later. Ooh. After the massive D rank, things started to turn around. I was finally getting used to Genji's playstyle and having fun.
I was on a winning streak. And I've got to say, in all honesty, not bad, not bad. Now you. Genji was starting to feel like second nature. I need a healing moment. No. Hey, that wasn't actually bad. Nice job, Sam. Holy crap. And after 10 long hours. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! No! I achieved all of my goals, and these were my end results. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. However! Before I end the video, I want to address the impact of toxicity in my opinion. My last game until rank up, I came across probably the worst toxicity. I have ever experienced. Oh no, what happened? Now in this game, I was playing bad. I understand that I wasn't playing up to standard for some people and I would normally change, but for the sake of the video, I needed to play Genji. After first half, we had a good hold, but then one individual decided to joke about my gameplay and then he decided to take Genji out of spite. That's really not cool. I explained why I was playing Genji, which was a big mistake on my part. Big mistake. He ends up switching off Genji before the second half starts, so I played him and we win the game. Winning! So nothing to complain about, right? That is correct. Wrong. How? At the end of the game, they used the information I told them and they mocked me, laughed at me, and told me to f myself. Did did I do something wrong? And usually this doesn't bother me, but this game hit me hard emotionally. It really weighed on me because I already had doubts of making this video. I thought it was pointless and stupid. It was out of my comfort zone and these comments really brought out that negative thinking and multiplied it. By six. And just for more context, I never talked back in voice chat once. I didn't provoke them. And the only things I said in text chat were that I was making a video about Genji and thank you when he switched off Genji. So the point of the story is that people like this are the exact reason I never played Genji in the first place, as well as joining voice chat, especially in competitive. I was too insecure and afraid of failure and being flamed. I don't like confrontation. It's sad because after playing him for 10 hours, I really enjoyed his character. He was fun and satisfying to play. I love doing that. The only way to learn is through failure. To make nasty comments and tease someone about their ideas is just plain wrong. For those people, please just remember, think before you speak, but what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. If you want to win more games, be positive, having a good attitude, being aware on how you're reacting to a bad situation and controlling your feelings will greatly improve your chances of winning. Flaming someone because they aren't doing so well will not make them play any better, it's just a negative environment for the rest of the game. Remember, it's just a video game, have fun. That was almost a challenge. So, on a positive note, by making this video, I have learned that if you want to achieve anything in life, it starts by breaking free from your comfort zone. I enjoyed making this video and I hope for those watching did too. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more future content and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Ah!